it's worth everybody thinking about in terms of those on the dissident right or those who wish to um, take steps to ameliorate our circumstances. And that is that we have very serious religious protections in the United States. And I think a lot of these people are talking about freedom of speech and the rest and being deplatformed. I think it would be rewarding for those who are legally minded and uh, detail oriented and the rest to take a look at the opportunities that exist in tackling the subject of what's being called white well-being from the perspective of religion. It's a, it's a, it's a, got a minefield. It's got real issues associated with it. Um, one of which I'll mention, but the thing is that the constitutional protections are so serious that if it were handled right by people who are intelligent, I think that there's a whole lot that could be done by exploring the religious dimension of constitutional protections as a basis to affirm and set forth certain ideas. Now, as I said, there are a bunch of problems with it. I'm going to mention one and then come around um, to questions. And that is that, you know, basically any religion that's new is a cult. And a uh, cult that hasn't been around for long enough is not yet a religion. And that's how they cut your legs out from under you. But it is something that is worth consideration because, again, the constitutional uh, protections and the precedents for those protections enshrined in law are significant. 